test. Oh, okay. All right, perfect. You go over what's in your little uh, kits here. Just gonna pass out a few more brushes. Um, if you guys want to start, or if you haven't, you know, got uh, the water and into your cups, you can go ahead and pull some water up in that um, big white cup. Yes. And then the paper plates are great for disposable, you know, like if you want to not worry about cleanup at the end. Uh, but I'm just going to put out some of these pallets just in case you need some more space. <laughs> and then we'll get started right now. So just give me one second. Um, if you got an ink tag, you know, before, you guys can use that and. Yeah. I'd rather see it. It's bigger. Hello. 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 We'll need some small ones a little later, so. Okay. Okay. All right. I'm going to switch us back to the camera view of the tables so you guys can follow along. Okay. All right. And I'm going to, oops, I have to do something here. I think spot, stop like this. Spotlight. Here we go. All right. Here we go. So I want to feel a little bit far away from you guys. <laughs> Okay, so I think the last thing I need is just a cup of water for me. So let's get some water. And we'll go over everything that you guys have. Probably. Just to make sure we're not missing anything, okay? Okay. So to start us off, we have the large terracotta pot, and this needs a stand. Let's see. This. Okay, that's a little better. Oops, I'm upside down. There we go. Okay, hopefully that's good. And okay, so the pot, hi everybody. <laughs> My name is Sonia, in case you guys have not uh, met me yet. Um, so we are going to delve into this cow. And there's a lot of little parts and little things to do with this one, but um, it's pretty fun. And it turns out really cute. I have the cow actually over there, the sample. But when I was driving, the foot fell off. Okay. So actually, let me bring it over so you guys can see it. I just, oh, it's three-legged. Uh, this one is three-legged. Let me see if the hot glue you know, it was good working, so I can just put the foot back on. Oh, yeah. There, hopefully that's stuck. So here's our little friend. I'll show up on here. Okay. Okay. Oh, it's so long. Come on. It's not. This, this one's not exactly cooperating here, so we're just gonna um maybe stand him up a little. Okay. <laughs> so let me see if I can rotate the camera here to it. All right. So on this one, I did make the face just a little bit different than the picture you guys may have seen. Um, I just painted the eyes on, but I did include the googly eyes in case you wanted to just slap some eyes on there a little bit easier. Um, and then what else did I do? Okay, so in your kit, let's go over what's in the kit, okay? 
you should have the pots, that's the body and the head. The head is, oh, my head. I lost my head. <laughs> this one. Okay, so this is, I don't know, a four inch one. Um, so what I did, well, I didn't do it. My husband did it. He drilled these holes in the side. And so if you were to go to the store and buy a terracotta pot, obviously you wouldn't have a hole. Um, he just used like a tile drill bit to drill it. So if you guys want to do this again, that's how he did it. Um, and then if you don't have a drill and you want to stick the head on, uh, the hot glue, I think, will work, you know, to hold it together. It actually works pretty well. But, you know, long term, I don't know if it's going to be the best option. OK, so maybe some kind of clip or something else might hold it better. Um, and then we have the four feet. So these feet are the ones that are a little bit kind of chunky. And so they actually kind of need to be this wide to support the the whole cow. OK, if you have this little one this one was inside the baggie and this one you can see is a little bit narrower so I keep falling you can see the difference here right a little bit this one's really narrow this is the wider one okay so we want to use the wider one for the feet okay the only place i've been able to find these are at home depot the wider ones these little ones are the ones they sell at Hobby Lobby. Okay, so if you try to stand up the feet of the cow with these ones, it's not going to be wide enough to support the weight of it. Okay, so just to let you know, if you want to do this again, just make sure you get the wide ones uh, from like Hobby Lobby. Okay, um, they also do sell one size up, but those are also really big. So if you want to change the size of everything, right, you know, then you can get that. Okay. So these are the four feet, and this is what's used for the bell, okay? Now, I was at Hobby Lobby, and I saw that they had these cowbells on clearance, and I was like, oh, I have to get those. <laughs> so if you want to use that cowbell instead of the terracotta bell, you can. Um, I do have a lot of extra of the terracotta bell, so either one is fine, uh, just kind of whatever your preference is. Okay, some people kind of like the terracotta and then you can paint it the yellow color. Okay, you could also paint the bell, you know, a different color if you wanted to also, but uh, just the, to have that option, they were just kind of cheap. And so I decided to just go for it. And But I don't have enough bells for everybody. Okay, so that's the only kind of thing. I just kind of took whatever they had. Okay, all right. So we have a little bell and then these are the four uh, feet. Okay. Um, oops, let's admit this. Okay, and then if anybody at the Senior Center, Renaissance Center has any questions, just, uh, it's gonna be easier to just say things out loud because uh, in order to see the chat, I would have to click it open and then it covers up what we're doing over here. So just, you know, you know, say, say I have a question or something and then I'll answer it, okay? All right, in your baggie, Hello, is that okay? Good. <laughs> okay. Also, there is an option on the um, Zoom screen to put like your hand up or have a reaction and then I can also see that, but it's gonna be easiest just to say things out loud. Okay, we have our ribbon and if you guys over there don't have your ribbon pre-cut, um, I cut the ribbon to about a foot-ish, maybe like between, I don't know, 10 inches, something like that, eight, 10, 12 inches. I uh, didn't really have a ruler, so just like cut, 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 cutting a bunch of them, okay? So they might be a little bit uh, different sizes, but um, they should be long enough to make the bow either way. Okay, let's see. And just stop me too, you know, let me know if you guys have any questions as we go through, okay? All right, we have this little twine. This is to attach the bell, okay? These are for the ears. <clears throat> the black and uh, pink felt the inside of the ear and the outside. And then, um, you know, if you're over here, you know, at this site, not in the other place, the other Renaissance Center, um, I use the wire to put through the hole to attach the head to the body, okay? Um, if you don't have this stuff, then you would just attach it using hot glue. 
And then we should have our two uh, googly eyes, okay? Which again, if you don't wanna use them, you can just put them aside. And then we have our tail, okay? Uh, your tail should have one end that has a little rubber band on it. Um, and this is so that, you know, when we fray the edge of it, it's uh, not gonna unravel all the way. I did put a little bit of glue on the top of this one just to help it stay while we get it over here. And so you'll kind of feel it. It's a little bit like crispy on the top or, or rough, okay? And then the bottom part has the rubber band. So it'll just pop on like that, okay? Um, and then a lot of the hot gluing that we're gonna do is just, we're gonna have to like go over there. And so it's gonna be like a rotation of everyone going over there and hot gluing. There's about four hot glue guns. And so we'll just kind of rotate yeah. through, okay? But last time, if you guys were here to do the frog, People were finishing at different times, and so it was kind of fine. Just, you know, people just kind of went whenever they were done. Okay. Um, all right. So to get us going here, uh, we should have uh, our start with the black and the white paint. Oh, yeah. And then also I put in for you guys' as kits a tiny little uh, rubber washer. Yes, we yeah. all have yeah. it. Yeah. 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 It shows up better. You want to use this? So yeah. I'll yeah. cut you some of the ends. Okay. We can do that. And if anybody at the Renaissance Center has any questions, just let me know. Otherwise, make sure your camera or your uh, computer is on mute, or else we can hear everything you're saying. <laughs> okay. All right. And again, this is going to be used just in between the two, the head and the body, so that we can keep it from kind of hitting itself and getting uh, getting damaged. Okay. All right, so go ahead and pour some black and white paint on your palette. And you're probably gonna need more white paint than black. So just pour, you know, both in there. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I know we put them on that paper plate, you know, and if you need more space, we can pass around some more palettes or more. Okay. So, um, so I I had spray painted some of these um, the terracotta pots in advance because just when I was doing mine, I noticed that you know terracotta just absorbs a lot of water since it's so porous. So <clears throat> that's why they're kind of like that creamy color, a little bit uneven because I just kind of sprayed them all around just to kind of have us use less of the white paint and have it kind of seal it a little bit okay but if yours is not painted white that's fine it's not going to make a difference you just might need to add like another coat okay so i'm going to go ahead and take off this sticker at the bottom and then i kind of like to paint it where the roundest part the biggest part is down okay and then if there's any like dirt or debris on it just kind of brush it off um from the drilling you know it may have gotten some of that little you know, stuff in there. So you might just need to blow it out or shake it out. Okay. So okay. So the easiest way to start painting is actually to just start with a little bit of black, very, very lightly. And so I'm going to wet my brush a little bit and pick up some paint. And this is kind of just to start like the drawing. Okay. So this is where the head is going to go, where the little hole is, okay? So I'm just going to start off by doing a very light line, very kind of watery even, of just like one of the shapes for the spot, okay? Yes. Really watery. It doesn't have to be super runny, but just so it doesn't take forever to dry, okay? So this is going to be one section. Okay, I'm gonna rotate it around and maybe I'll make like a, maybe like a peanut shape. Where was that first one? Okay, I wonder why you moved that side. Oh, yeah, I can do that. Sure. Okay, that's the whole thing. 
It doesn't have to be exactly where my spots are either, okay? So if you want to add more smaller spots, you know, uh, that's fine. This is just kind of like wherever you want your cow spots to be. I'm just showing you guys so you can kind of see the scale, like the size that I kind of made these. So this spot is going to be covering like a good, you know, most of a surface here on this side. So that, you know, you don't spend too long painting the shape of the spot, okay? So I'm just going to do it very lightly, not we're too worried about filling it in. I'm just kind of worried more about drawing it all on there. So I'm going to do another one that's kind of going all the way towards the top, kind of just like a little round mountain shape. Yeah, and if you guys were here last time for the frog, I, I don't know what I was thinking, but um, I didn't do the sample with the class. I don't know. I think I was just like so focused on having enough materials for everybody that I didn't think to make the materials for me <laughs> and to do the demos. So um, I apologize if that was a little bit confusing. Um, I just kind of was like, here, paint. <laughs> so... Um, Next time, um, it is going to be recorded with the demo for the frog. So if you need to see that, you know, that'll be recorded. So we're going to fill in the black? Yeah, these now. are going to be filled in, but I'm not, you don't have to do it right now. Right now, we're just trying to get the layout, okay? So I kind of just like to do two big ones that are kind of on the top, right? And then kind of these, like, little, or these big, actually, kind of peanut shapes. I've done mine in my fiber. Stuck in the spot. <laughs> So, you know, you guys have seen uh, dairy cows or, you know, these kind of cows with uh, these black spots, like they don't always have the same coloring and so however you really want to do it. I just want to make sure that this first uh, shape that I'm doing is just really light, okay, because I kind of want it to dry kind of fast. So here I just kind of laid out where all these spots are going to go, okay. And then I'm going to go ahead and go to the um, feet. And the feet are going to have kind of the same thing, except the whole hoof of the foot is going to be black. So this whole thing on the bottom is going to be black. And then on here, this is one of the, the wide ones, right? Don't You can put that small one aside, the little one for the um, bell. Just put that little one aside. So these are going to be for the feet. And again, I'm just trying to lay out just the shape and go all the way up because the top of this uh, foot is going to be visible, at least like on a portion of it. So on this like spot that I'm doing, I'm actually going to go up into the top of this little one. Okay, so that's where one is. And the other side, I'm going to do the hoof. Okay. And just another spot on that side. So I'm just going to let that dry. I'm going to go to all of the feet and do the same thing. Okay. Can you have the one up that you just managed? Well, it's not finished. It just has two two shapes of where those spots are going to go. I really roughly, right? I'm not, I don't want to fill in the flat right now. Oh. Okay, and if you guys do break something, um, no, I, I do break. Okay, I do have extras. So just in case something happens to something, I do have extra stuff. Um, so don't, don't worry. <laughs> and there's a whole extra kit over here. So I guess somebody didn't um, show up, so. We'll use that too. All right, these little suckers are just so stuck on it. So, I don't know if there's something else you could use to get these off. Maybe even using some of that little wire in your kits that might help to pop some of this sticker out. Should it be all off? Uh, yeah, yeah. Try to take it all off. If some of it's really stuck, you know, sure, maybe you can paint over it, but. Um, Try to take it all off. 
Well, it won't show really. Well, it's going to show if you guys see the cow. Here, I'll put the camera on it. See how you can kind of see the top of this? Okay. So it's going to show a little bit. Like on this one, it shows part of that. So on the inside one, it's not going to show, but you might as well just do the whole thing so you don't have to worry about it later. Okay. You guys see that? Okay. Uh, so just a reminder for the people at the Renaissance Center, um, you know, if you want to say anything or you have a question, you can just click um, unmute and then, you know, say whatever you want to say and um, ask a question or whatever you want. And then I will help you and see what it is you're doing. All right. So I'm going to keep going here. Um, so because terracotta, like I said, is very absorbent. Um, it's going to need multiple coats anyway. So that's why I'm kind of just roughly getting it on here because even this first layer is going to be almost like a first coat a little bit. So I'll come back to it and just kind of add more layers. So just so I kind of get it all laid out here. Stickers off. So in April, I will, uh, I'm going to be leaving to uh, California on the 16th. So we kind of had to like squeeze all the classes for the month in the first two weeks. Um, so we're having another one of these cow classes. And then I think I mentioned this last time, we're doing the cyanotype class, uh, which is like actually kind of dependent on it not raining. <laughs> So hopefully if it doesn't rain, we can do it. Uh, but we have that class. And then um, we also have another needle felting class, which is the chicken and two little baby chicks. So if you guys are interested in those. Um, they also, you know, uh, are doing now a little bit more of these like kits for people to pick up. And so if you're not going to be actually in the class, I think they want to make kits available for purchase so you can purchase the supplies, but then you guys can just watch the video of the class, you know, at home and then do it following along. Okay. So that's going to be a cool little um, option for you guys. So you have everything good to go. I'll make the kits for you guys, and then you can just follow along at home or something or you guys can even do it you know while you're here on a different day like i know thursdays you guys come in and do the um little get together where you guys are doing the beading the uh diamond diamond painting maybe you guys can get another little group together and and do the class together if it's maybe on a day where some of you guys couldn't go to the class that day there's a lot of people that have that kind of problem that they really want to do classes but um you know, the schedule doesn't really allow them to come on like Mondays or Wednesdays or whatever it is. So, okay. just brushing this on really lightly. All right. If my cow is cooperating, oh, it's, it's okay. It's, it's holding up now, although it looks like it still needs more glue because the glue I put on is a little uneven. All right, it's kind of tilted. Okay, so I'm going to go to the head, and the head is the only one that really has a specific, um, you know, layout of where it needs to be. So we'll do the head together, okay. So, but right now you guys can just kind of work on painting the other ones that we did. So I'm going to go back here to my first one. And now that, you know, it's a little bit more dry, right, I can go over it and it's going to make a cleaner border the second time around. What we'll plenty of time to paint. Honestly, most of this project is just a lot of painting, okay? So don't worry about... Uh, 
time, you know, and then even if we, um, even if we are, you know, on something else or go over something else, we will always have time to go back and finish painting whatever you might be doing. Okay, so I don't want you guys to feel stressed out. This should be a relaxing, well, maybe not super relaxing, but at least not stressful. <laughs> So the second time around, now that this first layer that I kind of did quickly is dry is, you know, I'm going to try to actually go in and just make that edge a little bit cleaner. Because I kind of want the edges to dry sooner because that's where I'm going to put the white and I don't want that to be wet when I'm putting the white. So that's why I'm just suggesting to do the black outlines, the edges first. <laughs> I'll make this one just a little cleaner. <laughs> so just going over it and again, second time around, I'm just gonna go over the edges nice and clean. Um, if you guys are, you know, struggling with the brush that you have, like you need a different brush for whatever reason, you know, these are not the best, like, newest brushes, so some of them might be, like, really frayed, so just let me know, and I can get you a different brush, or you can just look, see if there's another brush that you prefer on the table or at another table, too. Why wouldn't you paint the white first? Um, it'll 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 because it's easier to paint the shape. You're right, instead of painting a negative shape, so the one at night gray spots when you put the white on top of the black, you painted black first. Well, we're not going to do that if it's not dry, you've got black, and then you're trying to paint white. Is that what you're saying, Lisa? What I'm saying is, why don't we paint the whole the whole thing white, right, and then let it dry any of the spots? Uh, because it just uses a lot of paint. Oh, okay. <laughs> No, I, I mean, I'm sure there was a reason. Yeah, well, I mean, if you think about it, uh, the, the cow is just like maybe half black, half white, maybe okay. a little bit more white, right? But, you know. I was just uses, curious. Yeah, it just uses paint. That's the only reason, really. Uh, plus, you'd have to wait for the whole thing to dry, you know? And this right. way, we just kind of want to wait for the edges, make sure the edges are dry, and then go into the white. So, yeah, and then it already, this terracotta already absorbs so much of the moisture and paint that, like, you know, it would just be a lot of paint. But yeah, if, if you want to do it at home or do it, you know, paint terracotta another another time, you could just do the whole thing one color and then do the other ones so the shape's flat. Yeah, so you know the the spray paint on it hopefully sealed it a little bit, so it just makes it harder for it to absorb too much of the moisture in it. So that's why I just spray painted them. But, you know, acrylic makes a kind of plastic seal. Uh, anything with acrylic in it has the polymers, plastic polymers in it. So it is going to seal the um, terracotta on the outside, uh, but the inside will still be, um, you know, able to absorb water or cold water. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I, I have to get it out of my head. Like, I am coming from teaching, you know, in a public school, so. <laughs> So I always have this like mindset of like scarcity when it comes to materials because you know we have limited budget. So I guess like you're right. Like I could have just bought a bunch more white paint, but um, when I designed it, I guess I just kind of approached it that way just from the get go. So I don't know. You're doing good. Don't worry about it. <laughs> I was like, yeah, I didn't even think about that. Like oh, I don't know. <laughs> Oh, 
All right. So I'll just try to clean up my spots here. Yeah, I try to get the uh, black as, you know, as nice around as possible. Just to make it nice and clean. So that's about done. And you'll even notice too that in some parts where you may have painted it lightens up just because it absorbs some of the paint. So you might need to go over it a couple times. Um, and by the way, if you are gonna buy craft paint anywhere, uh, try to get the uh, Deco Art brand. This Craft Smart at Michaels is just very cheap. <laughs> so I just wouldn't recommend it. I would recommend the Deco Art. And then I'm gonna go ahead on the inside of my pot and just paint this rim. Maybe going in a little bit. It's up to you how kind of deep you want to go into the rim, but you know, if it's going to be full of soil, maybe it'll be nice if it at least goes down into where the soil is. So that and this side, I'll just paint it a little. Oh. And like I said, if you guys want to make other little small spots, you know, different places or whatever, that's fine. It's up to you if you want yours more spotted. Oh man, and I should have mentioned too that like I saw a picture online of some a project with a cow and somebody did a strawberry cow with pink spots and it looks so cute. So I, I was gonna I forgot that I was gonna suggest that, but um well, I think everyone did black already, so <laughs> I'm sorry. It was the most this is the cutest thing, and then I had like a pink ribbon and it had like a little green on it to kind of make it look like strawberry. So it was adorable. All right. So I'm going to move back to my little feet. And uh, oh, yeah, I was going to pass around more smaller brushes. So the little feet might need some more uh, PLC with a smaller brush. Yeah. So let me pass around some of those. It really needed to be too tiny, but you know, some people like to get really detailed, especially with like the babies and stuff. Okay. Ready? So to kind of make it look like a hook, um, I would just suggest to go right up to the rim of this little tiny pot for the feet and just kind of at an angle getting that little edge so that that looks kind of like the top of the hook. Painted that a little high, but that's okay. Oh. 
Do you guys know um, if you're a member of this center, are you also a member of the Renaissance Center or is that a separate like membership? No, it's the same. It's okay. all the same. So you could take classes there and here. And this is just the Land View branch. Okay. I think the Renaissance is the main hub. Yeah. Because that's where the director and everything's at. Yeah. Okay. But yeah, whatever. Because I just come from over there taking a class and I come over here to, but it's the same. Okay. That one. So if you guys like these kind of garden terracotta projects um, and you have an idea for another one, um, somebody last time mentioned doing like a turtle or doing something else. So, uh, you know, if there's something you see or whatever, you can always show Michelle and, and show me or get some ideas going if you guys see something else. I saw one recently that was like a, kind of like a wind chime made with terracotta pots. But it, it didn't look like any character specifically or any animal animal or anything. So I was like, I don't know if people would like it. <laughs> so if you have any ideas, just let me or Michelle know. Same thing for needle felting too. Uh, if you guys like needle felting, have any ideas for that, let me know. Oh, yeah, and for this class, there's the class in May that's, you know, going to repeat this project and the frog. And then there's also, um, Probably, oh, sorry, April. And then in May, we're looking at doing another session of them. So if you guys have anybody interested, anybody else that didn't get a chance to do it, I'm pretty sure we're going to do a different, a third session of them. The little guys are pretty popular. <laughs> or even if you wanted us, I mean, I don't know if you guys can sign up again for the same class, but, you know, if there's room and you want to do it again or make one for a friend or something, you know. I think like strawberry one. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Good yeah. idea. Maybe Michelle <laughs> will let you guys do that. And uh, if you guys, if there's room, right, if you guys have, I'm sure we would want to leave it open for the new people to try doing it if they haven't done it yet. But I think it's first come, first serve. Oh, really? Okay. Make it again. Well, wait for I know. I kind of wish I would have made mine a strawberry cow to begin with. <laughs> and I, I don't know if it would, you know, work because the color is a little lighter. But I really like the idea of a lemon cow too. It would look very like summery. A lemon cow. A lemon cow, maybe with like brown fur and then lemons that are yellow. I don't know. <laughs> 
I'll bring some different paint colors in the other one and see. Did you do well in yeah. biology in high school? I, I actually taught biology for a little bit. <laughs> oh my goodness. You're talking about yellow cows. <laughs> I taught biology for a few months at a, um, a school in Berkeley. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, it's 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 <laughs> it's it's yeah, it's hard. It's it's matter. Does it? It's Yeah, there's no real strawberry cows, but yeah. Imagine kid will ask to get strawberry milk. Exactly. <laughs> That's what I was gonna say. I'm like, imagine if I had to make strawberry milk. What <laughs> cow do chocolate? <laughs> yeah, you just gotta shake them up a little. Mike's <laughs> called the Santa Claus. <laughs> Okay. Just going over some of my edges a little. Um, so in a minute, I'm going to show you guys kind of how to paint the face. And, you know, everyone will want to watch that and do that. So just. Oh, don't fall. Don't fall, little cow. Okay. Because my feet are, I glued it on the second time off, and now it's not cooperating. So. Here, we'll just make it have three feet right there. <laughs> oh, I should have put out some napkins. You guys need napkins? I've got the paper towels over here. Oh, okay. Yeah, I mean, I just go back and I didn't. And we don't have any, we are. We go. <laughs> <laughs> I usually have a stack in my car. Oh, yeah. I have a box of paper towels. Pumps. 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 You know, I'll just put it in the water down so they don't get dry out. Okay. Oh, you got that. Yes, the sun's being Yeah, we'll take it. Well, it's not the most absorbent. Thank you. Paper. Oh, really? Oh, really? You can make a really spark if you want. Part of mine's already that way, so I'm going to come back and let you do the part of it. Oh, really? Yeah, you guys can use it. Okay. So for the face, um, you are going to need a little bit of white or white in general. So you can pour some out. Is that ready? Um, and just keep in mind to, you know, if your water gets really dirty with paint and then you try to paint with white, it might like stain it. So just need to change out your water every now and then. That's probably a good idea. Yeah, if you guys want the glitter back, I'll get back here. <laughs> We're bringing up here. Crystal. Crystal. 
I keep reminding people to bring them, but then I forget. So. Bring what? Uh, the name tag. Oh. Then I forget to put it on myself. So. Okay. Are we ready for the uh, face? You guys you can just kind of pause whatever you're painting and then just kind of see how to do the face. Okay. So go ahead and get your um, smaller pot, that's for the head. And then what you're going to want to do is either, you know, you, you guys want to line it up to the hole, okay? And then this is where the head is going to attach to the body, okay? So what we actually want to do is go directly across, and I'm just going to put a little white mark right there. I don't have a hole. Yeah, you do. Oh, it's down there. I'm yeah. looking up on the top. It's okay. It's on the rim. So this is where the, on ours, this is where the neck is going to attach. So we don't want to put the face on that side. Okay. We want to put the face on the other side. So I'm, I'm going across and I'm just putting a mark to line up the face. Okay. So you guys see that? This is a hole. I'm just going across with my brush and marking the top so I know where the middle is. Right. And then I'm using white paint this time, okay? So now I know, okay, this is the middle. Okay, if you don't, if the people in the Renaissance Center, they don't have a hole on it, so don't worry about it. It can go anywhere. <laughs> um, just for us, we wanna make sure we line it up, okay? Does that make sense? So this white mark is opposite your hole, right? Okay. And then for the, um, the face, okay, we're gonna go on the, rim and we're going to put fingers right here two fingers okay um that's or about like an inch right Maybe a little more than an inch and then this is where the top of that um like snout is going to be so i'm going to make it go across and i kind of want this snout to fill up like most of this visible part right here on this side, okay? So basically I'm gonna go around and just kind of make this now kind of like an oblong or like oval shaped, okay? So maybe I would say about the size of your fingers, if you just kind of rest them on there, maybe a little wider. So I just want most of this bottom part to be filled up, okay? So that's where I'm going to put like, you know, the nostrils. Okay, if, and I know that, you know, the, the spray paint that I put on there is ivory colored. So, you know, hopefully you'll see the white, <laughs> put it on there. Okay. Just trying to get an idea of where this is going to go. Okay. And then our eyes, you know, we could place them here and here somewhere. Okay. So, so you know where the eyes are going to go. And so um, there's a couple of ways we can place where the, the black is going to go. And so um, we could do the black kind of on the sides. If you guys want to make it like mine, I just kind of made spots. But either way, we could just kind of start painting this a little bit. I'm actually going to switch to the bigger brush. And I'm just going to start painting it just right above here. And a little bit on the brain. Okay. It's okay. You don't have to paint the eyes there. I just, I just was showing you that's where they're gonna go. Yeah. Don't worry about that. Okay. So I'm just putting some white on here. Okay. Okay. So if we were to kind of look at it, that's. This now. So if we're looking at it directly from the side, you know, uh, we should still be able to see a little bit of the snout here. Okay. Same thing on the other side. Flip it over so you're directly uh, looking at it at the ang at an angle here on the side profile. You should still be able to see some of this. Okay. So see how it's just like mostly filling up the bottom part. Right. 
Just don't make it too small. I think it's going to look weird if it's too small. Okay. All right. And I guess, you know, what Lisa was saying is fine. So we already have the white. You could decide to make your spots on the rest of it, you know, I guess you can just draw the black spots where they're going to go. Maybe I'll put one there. So this would be a spot of black. Maybe up here would be a spot of black at the top corner. And maybe here's going to be another one. So I just kind of put these large spots one right here. Here, I'll fill it in with the black just so it's a little easier to see. Brush a little bit of white in lightly. For the bottom of the head, you really are not going to see that, especially since it's at an angle. So you guys don't really have to paint that bottom part. Okay. So this is the face. Okay, just make sure you don't accidentally paint in the snout black, okay? I already did that. Oh, really? Okay. No, <laughs> you know, I already you... painted it white, sorry. You painted it white. Oh, it's fine if it's white. Uh, just you want to make sure it's, we're going to paint it that like blush skin kind of color. So um, that's what that's going to be. Right now, I'm just kind of throwing in some black where the paint, uh, the black spots are going to go. So you guys can see it. You know, just wash your edges. If you accidentally blend the black and the white together, that's okay. Just wipe it off or let it dry. Do you yeah. want to see it? So this is the this is the snout, okay? And then I went on the sides of the head and just kind of did the ones that are lining up to the top of the head. And then I just put one spot on the back. Where's the snout in relation to the right here? The hose, straight across, straight across from the hole. Yeah. So the snout, I put two, and this is where the black ears are going to go too. So that's kind of why I did black on the side of the head, kind of at the top, because the two ears are going to come out the side right here, right? So that's why this this big spot, I made it going off the edge of here, and this one going off the edge of here on this side, so you can stick the ears right there. Okay. And if you guys, yeah, if you guys want to come up and take a look at it, uh, my example or the one I'm painting, that might help. You want to take a look? Okay. Yeah, so, so this is our face. Like oh. So then you can even go around and add more white around that if you want. Oops. Okay. And then uh, I just put two kind of half circles or half blobs up here on the sides. So you, you cover all this in white, and if you've got a blob of black here, yeah. there's the blob of black on. So let's say I do, okay, let's see these are where the ears are going to go, right? So one ear is going to be here, one ear is here on the side of the face, right? Mm -hmm. So the little um, shape of it, I can just kind of make like a little okay. mountain shape there. So that's a black. 
And then, yeah, and then this is like another one. And, and the rest of it is white, except for this part right here. Yeah, that's going to be the snout. Okay. Okay. And then you can do another little spot back here if you want to. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. Um, same thing like I did before. I'm just going to paint a little bit of the inside, too. You guys can always do this part later. Does anyone need me to take a look at theirs or have a question or something? They're looking good from here. <laughs> Oh. No. Okay. That's my. I should have done that. I don't know. Do you want to and you can work on painting this white. Oh, okay. It's it's right on there. Yeah, fine. It was kind of if it's dry, you know. You want me to take a look at yours? Yeah, see what I need to do. Because I got I got turned upside down. Well, we can definitely just cover these little oh, wow. area right here with white paint. I think we just kind of smoothed out some of these little lines. Was, it was totally the problem was in the back. Yeah, this is fine. This, this is where I got, I got turned upside down. Okay, okay so, so this is the, the neck, right? Uh -huh. So then right here, okay, so let me do this. Let me put a little um, light line of black, just really light heat. Just so you can kind of see where the snout goes. So here is the mm -hmm. middle right there. So our snout, we actually want to move a little bit higher. A little bit wider. So here. Okay. That's where you would be. That's where I got lost. Okay. Because I did upside down. So this is where the snout is going to be. Okay. And then, so the two little nostrils are going to be there. And where are the eyes going to be? The eyes are going to be there. there. That's where you can pull the little wiggly eyes, or you can see the eyes. Okay, thank you. Okay here. Good you want me to see your face? Oh, shoot. Uh, yeah, it's just a little small. So let's see. That's right in the middle, right here. Mm -hmm. So we just want to make it a little bit wider. And 
anybody else want me to look at their uh, snout and shape or anything like that? Yeah, me too. Okay. Yeah. That's not me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not <laughs> Yeah, I have to take it. All right, so I need to get cracking yeah. on my body of mine, so make that. Are we going to paint our white again like you are? Uh, yeah, I would recommend painting it white just because that ivory color is just kind of sprayed on really roughly. So, you know, just to make it look nice, you want to even it out and make it full white. I didn't have any actual white spray paint. I just had that ivory, so I'm just going to use what I had. Boy, it's getting old. <laughs> okay. Well, I'm glad you girls are listening. You're doing a real good job. <laughs> Uh, yeah, that's going to be the pink that's color. Pink. Okay, just looking to see it. I mean, if you want to put a really light put of white on there, that's fine. Oh. Yeah, guys, so since we are going to paint this snout uh, pink, you know, if you want to just brush really lightly some white on there just to just to get it covered a little bit, that's fine. Just so you know, you don't lose that shape, right? So I'm just brushing a little bit of white on there just to just to lighten it up a little bit so that paint will come onto it a little bit more easily. Oh yeah, yeah, go for it. Do you have another one? Uh, I probably do somewhere. Oh, okay, I'll shoot one. Yeah. Oh, really? Okay, yeah, I can see if I have another one. I didn't really like organize where they went, so the bells could have ended up in a different bag. Mm 
I don't know about you guys, but I love the smell of the wet terracotta. <laughs> that kind of wet dirt smell. Okay. Yeah, it was like garden. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, it's hard to do that yet, it's all right. Where is it? It's hard to do that. Not this way. Oh, we on time. Okay, 12.06. So, it's going to be a long one, but... um. Normally we go about an hour and a half. I'm thinking this is gonna take probably like two hours because there's a lot of little things involved and a lot of paintings. So. And more tennis sports sure has been quiet. Hey, it's a day. Yeah. Hopefully they're okay over there. Well, they're, they're moving around. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, 
Oh, like a cargo ship, something happened, they didn't, they couldn't control it, it ran into it, the motor went, and they couldn't drive it or stuff, steer it, that's what it was. Well, I was reading about these automatic starter cars, and there was one that ran away, and they couldn't do anything, I couldn't get it stopped, they kept going, and they finally had to kind of wreck the person to get it to stop, yeah. Thought about these because you're just automatic. I'm starting to now. So that's why I'm saying it means I know, but they couldn't get it off. Oh, okay. And it was electric. So nothing they tried would turn it on because they, you know, they started in electric. Was it driving? It may have been just moving. And they had to in a minute. Police and everything after it. They finally blocked them in and ran them off the road because, and it went for a long time. And the, People were panicky. They didn't know what to do. They thought everything, but everything that was suggested, nothing worked. So they were blowing their horns and sirens and everything, trying to get people out of the way of it. That's it. There's been several cases like that. Well, electric cars. There's so many more people now, but they get stuck, and there's no way they can go. It was just us. Oh, Great yeah. anatomy, they had that with the electric car. It ran into the back yeah, of the car. Yeah. And, and they didn't couldn't stop it. Probably somebody had sense enough to punch your tire. And that's all. Otherwise, they couldn't get it to stop. Well, that's scary. Okay, it's scary. These self driving cars. Well, then when you know that another country can get control of all your electrical stuff, that's even yeah. scary. My mother used to say, I hate hearing sirens. I think, you know what, I don't because that makes help so much. Yeah, I always worry when it's school time. Yeah, if you guys end up using up any of the paint like they're done you know we can just toss them so and if you need more paint we have more just kind of spread around so. plenty of stuff go around so i think on its last little support Did you teach art in school? Yeah, I taught at a high school for 10 years ish. Around here? Um, in San Jose, California. Well, how'd you end up in King's Four Tents? <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> my God. Quite a ways. Yeah, I just followed my uh, my boyfriend at the time. Now he's my husband. I guess that's what happens when you <laughs> well, <laughs> well, across the country. <laughs> I'm glad you're your husband because so many of them desert them after they get it just right. Oh. Then they're left there with no family. And... Right. How often do you go back? Oh, I probably go home uh, maybe three times a year. Mm. Do they ever come here? Back. Yeah, they oh. come. Actually, um, you know, we just realized that flying into Knoxville is a lot cheaper than flying into Tri Cities oh, yeah. from LA. So, um, or Asheville. Yeah. 
So I'm hoping they can come uh, a little bit more often. But they love it out here. So will they relocate? Ah, uh, no, they won't relocate. Um, they're too used to their life over there. So I think that I have a five-legged cow here. I think I painted an extra foot somehow. I don't know how that happened, but. Well, you did have a three-legged cow. Yeah. Well, when you got here, I don't know what I'm thinking. She's making that for that. Right? <laughs> oh, we, all, we all need an extra leg. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> okay. Beautiful. Did you know that? So if you guys are, you know, still touching up your painting, that's fine. Like you can always go back and add a little bit more paint, even if we after it's assembled. So it's okay. There's no rush on that. Just want to make sure we kind of get through all the parts we need to get to in a reasonable time. <laughs> I think King's Court. King's Court. Yeah. Oh, no, they're there. I can see them on the top oh, screen. I just don't know how they're doing. Yeah, that's kind of the hard part about um, joining on Zoom, yeah. you know. Uh, Depending on how you're set up, it really just kind of depends on like how easily you can access the um, the screen and the buttons and things like that. And if it's not set up quite right, it makes it hard. Catch up the feet. Look at that hair, day. <laughs> <laughs> She's like, I just making it spread out a little bit. Like, at least we don't have to worry about the udders. <laughs> yeah. I don't know how we would even uh, try that. <laughs> Getting these cows, you just scare me to death. One chasing so tough. <laughs> I thought it was chasing, what we knew it was coming home to be milked. I thought it was chasing. I never did Okay, lots of painting from this one. Okay, I think 
I'm just about done. How long have you lived here? Oh, um, uh, probably about a couple of years or right now. Uh, we got our house last year, so I think two years now. Yeah, last year and the end of March we got it, so. Pretty much a year in that house, and then uh, came in uh, the summer of uh, 22, I want to say. Yeah, 22. Well, I just told it just quick. Yeah, uh, I actually had COVID that summer before I came. Thank goodness it, you know, I got over it before in July. But then again, I had, I had COVID like maybe three or four times. <laughs> Yeah, when, um, the doctor's office called about an appointment and they said, if you have signs of flu, please wear a mask. They didn't say anything about COVID. Mm -hmm. Can I make a picture that can help? Okay. I've got to leave. Oh, yeah. Just fine. a little bit. You don't care. Yeah, it's fine. It's just got three legs right now. <laughs> I can make somebody with one. So it's a little bit just to sneak it. Okay. Try to figure it out later. <laughs> Yeah, and then I'm, I'm no going to no. access the video too. Well, I'm I'm not walking walking very I don't know exactly how to post it, but I'm going to access it. So, yeah, I see it's just got the one holding it up. <laughs> I've fallen a couple times already. No worries. I just put that one right in the middle, yeah. Just put it forward a little bit. Forward. Yeah, a little bit more up and forward. Yeah, it's just got the blue. I always go to the recording could she? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. It's not one. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> That's funny. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> you get it done, Diane. I won't say it. Catch you. Let me make a picture of this next. Oh. My stuff right. with the foot right there. Okay. Okay, are we ready to do some of the face? Press the face. Okay, let's get this lined up here. All right. So, so for the face color, the snout color, sorry, um, I went ahead and kind of mixed uh, this color since didn't really feel like you should buy a whole bottle, bunch of bottles of this color, so pretty easy to mix. All right, so I'm going to put a little bit of red, uh, sorry, not red, uh, pink, and a little bit of yellow on the palette. Um, you guys can share this too if you make a little bit more, right? And then I'm going to get a clean brush. So I'm going to get my uh, pink and my yellow and just mix uh, i'm going to put them in a new, a new section right here so i'm going to get a little bit of the pink a little bit of the yellow and i'm trying to just make it like a little bit more orangey or peachish especially because that yellow is kind of light okay so it doesn't really need you know that much here maybe i'll make a little more pink yellow Okay, if you want it to be a little lighter, you can add a little bit of white to it too, but um, I think this is pretty good. Maybe I'll add a tiny bit of white. 
Okay, or if you already happen to have a peach color and you know, at home. Okay, and then this is going to go right on that snout. And I'm even going outside just a little bit just to make sure it's big enough. Kind of even just overlapping over the white. So pink, yellow, and maybe some white if you want to lighten it up a little. Might need two coats just because it's a little bit, you know, light. The right size. Yes, that looks good. Good size. Mm -hmm. Upside down. Let me see you rotate it a little bit. Yeah, that looks good. I think that you might need to bring it uh, lower or like. Put See, some white in between the like the... this is the bottom right so the right. eyes it looks like you don't have enough space for your eyes so you might need to add a little white there okay if, if you need to yeah i put those black spots in a bad spot i don't want one <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, all right so that's that first coat oh my hands are just It's kind of drying a little bit. I'm gonna add a second coat. Don't ruin all that. I think you said that. All right, so there's the snout. And I'm going to clean up my water cup a little bit. Actually, you Yeah, <laughs> Oh, that's where that fifth leg came from. <laughs> it came from the other cab. Okay. I was wondering how that happened. <laughs> So as far as the um, the rest of the face goes, right, um, if you guys, when you guys put the hot glue on uh, for everything else, you guys can pop on these eyes right here, okay, uh, on the side, um, or you can paint the eyes on. Um, for the, the face, the, it really just needs like a smile, so I'm just going to use the black to make a smile. So however you want to make your smile is fine. And just, you know, make sure you're using a thin brush for the smile. And then your nostrils, um, if you just want to make a simple dot for a nostril, that's fine. I kind of just made a little circle on mine. 
and filled it in, but it's up to you kind of how you want to make your nostrils. Okay. Oops, that's a little big. And then um, I'm gonna paint my eyes on, so I'm not gonna I'm not gonna make the googly eyes, so probably clean that up a little bit more later. But just to get it placed on there. I think my other one had some lashes, so I'll just put some lashes on this one too. I build it. That's optional, of course. All right. So, you know, of course, you take more time on there. Uh, for the inside of the nostril, I just got the regular pink color that I had and just put some pink in the nostril, but you guys can paint it as you like. Actually, I think these are too, I think these nostrils are a little too close together, so I think I'm going to move mine over. I don't really like Maybe I'm being too picky, but <laughs> I like it. Okay. Okay. I'm just gonna wait for that to dry. Um, and then of course with the yellow, um, if you have the bell that's like the little terracotta bell, you can uh, start painting your bell. Let me see yours. Hey, you can draw. Oh, uh, oh, okay. It's on here. I mean, that's kind of like a rush version, <laughs> but I just made black like circles, and then on the um, I put little white dots in them too to make them kind of like look like they have little sparkly in there <laughs> in the eye. Um, so I'll do that as soon as that dries and see how to do that. Uh, but while that's drying, I'm just going to paint my bell this kind of yellow color. You know, I might have a golden color somewhere. I don't know where I got that color from, but I may have mixed that up. So let's see. Actually, I think you can make that color if you just put a tiny, a tiny bit of the pink in there. Let's see if that works. Because this yellow is a very like light, like kind of lemon yellow. So let's see. Yeah, so if you just put a tiny bit of that pink mixed in with the yellow, it kind of gives it a little bit of like a more golden kind of tone to it. So you might want to use that, or you can just make it straight, you know, yellow. Or if you want to paint the bell a different color altogether, that's fine too. We have plenty of other colors up here. Have an orange up here too, in case you guys want to use some orange. Or you can even make the bell red to match the ribbon. Okay. 
I have to get some glasses. So I lay the eye. Well, if the bell, maybe, you know, if you have a little terracotta bell, just make sure you cover the whole thing, the top side of it, too, uh, just because you're going to see the whole thing. And then, let's see, so the little dot of the uh, eye, the, I just kind of put a little white dot to make it kind of sparkle. So I just kind of like to tip the end of the brush in some white. And then, you know, just making sure the eye is actually dry, just put like a little white dot on there. nostril. I'm just going to make them a little wider. Do a straight look. All right, and I'm going to outline that nostril later, but um, I do want to um, kind of get a couple things set up here. I'll show you how you guys to get things set up here for when we put it all together. So uh, we have about, uh, you know, let's just say 20 minutes left. So um, there's kind of a little bit of like assembly basically required after um, you get all the painting stuff done, okay? So, you know, I'm gonna wait to finish touching up that later, okay? Um, first thing we can do just to kind of get the rest of this ready is um, looking at the ears. We wanna start uh, cutting these ears. Wait a minute, where are my scissors? Oh, did I forget to bring scissors? Let me see, I have one pair right here. So we might need to pass this around. Okay, now wait, here's two. Good thing we only have a tiny bit of cuts. Yeah, okay, we'll just pass them around or I'll come around and help with the scissors. Um, usually I have my big bag. All right, so for your cow ears, okay, um, just kind of looking at your rectangle shape, um, figure out kind of where you want the point to be. I kind of like to make the point a bit a little bit coming down from the side. So say, for example, you want it to just kind of curve and just kind of make the point coming up towards this corner up here. Can you guys see that? So that's gonna be like the bottom of the ear. This is the top, okay? So if I would flip it over, it's gonna be... Oh! Oh, that's okay. We have a little tablecloth. Okay. So this is just kind of generally the shape of one ear, right? Okay. Um, and then same thing. I'm going to just line it up to the other side just so they match. And then cut it just to match the other side. Okay. <laughs> 
Okay, so we have our ears, okay? And remember, they're gonna go opposite, so you just wanna flip them over, okay? Like, uh, so they open up and keep them on the side of the face, okay? Okay, and then the inside of the ear, the pink, right? We just kind of want to make it match that shape on the outside, but just a little smaller. So I just kind of set it right up on top of there. Mommy said she just got one pair of scissors. We want to just cut everybody's ears. Uh, you can kind of all. You can just pass them around. That's fine. Good try. I tried. Good try. Tried. Tried. So we just want to make it a little bit smaller, right? All right. I'm going to line this one up a little bit more, but. Okay. So that's one side. Okay. And remember when you glue the ears on, right? Don't accidentally uh, glue them on the wrong direction because then you're going to have to like somehow peel it off and rotate it. So for example, don't make them the same, right? So like here's one that I made, right? Flip it this way, whatever. So then the other one is going to go on the opposite side. Okay. I can always be a boxer and have cold blur ears. <laughs> okay, so just make sure you actually are kind of laying them out before you stick them on. You know, these little ears are going to be on the side. Okay, so when you guys get your hot glue then, you can just hot glue the ears right on the pink onto the black and then the both ears onto the side of the head right there. Okay, and they pretty much line up to the rim, so they're going to be just that size. All right, so those are going to be the ears. Can I have your scissors? Yes, we can pass around these scissors. Thank you. Yeah, I actually um, have problems. How about that? Yeah, that's pretty good. Yeah, if you want to come up and see the shape of the ear, yeah, that's fine. <laughs> Yeah, I have carpal tunnel, so cut uh, scissors is actually probably one of the hardest things for me to do. It flares it up sometimes. So. I'll, I'll cut things for you if you're four years and under. <laughs> Maybe five. <laughs> okay. All right. Couple other things. So you guys are cutting your ears, right? Yeah. Cutting your ears. I'm Okay, we could get our bow ready too. So to tie the bow, okay. Um, I just make little ears for the ribbon and then just tie it kind of loosely at first. And then I can kind of like tug at it in different directions here to try to get it the kind of shape that I want or the size that I want. Tightening it up here and there. Okay, so there's one one bow on the uh, tail and one on the side of the head next to the ear. Okay. Yeah. Well, look at you. Oh, yeah, you can take a look at the one up here. Yeah, you can line it up. That's fine. You can line it up to that one. Although the felt might be a little bit different sizes. Yeah, the felts, I just kind of tried to put them all about the same size, but I wasn't measuring them exactly. <laughs> all right, here's the other little bow for the tail. 
Okay, and then I'm also gonna just kind of prep the bell. So for the bell, you just wanna stick the piece of string or twine in here and make a knot. Uh, I tell you, you can even make two knots just so this little, um, make it right on the end there too to make sure you have enough string. And if you have the other cowbell, you can just tie the string to the bell, right? It doesn't have to be obviously put through the hole. Okay, so I'm just making kind of like a double knot. So if I were to pull the string on it, it would hang, okay? Or just tying it there. And what else can we prep? We have our tail. Those are good. Um, so on the part that has that rubber band on it, you know, um, you kind of just want to start unraveling the end of it. Do we push the rubber band out so it doesn't unravel and then just unravel the end of it or not? Yeah, so if yours is very low, I just kind of threw them on there, right? So if your band is very low at the bottom, I would kind of bring it up maybe about an inch or an inch and a half up, and then you can just kind of unravel the tail. Okay. Uh, this also works with like a piece of tape too. I just happen to have these little tiny rubber bands um, for hair or something. I don't know what I had them for. <laughs> um, so if you have like some tape or, you know, even just another string, I mean, I've seen it where they take some of the string, wow, and they use that to just tie it off and then unravel it. So however you get that on there. <laughs> Right, so it's got the biggest ears. It looks like an elephant. All right. So we just want to unravel right. one side. Oh, thank you. Oh, oh my God. God. It's adorable. <laughs> yeah, well, you're welcome. No. <laughs> no, I don't know how to take this. I'm like, hello all the time. You just, you just want to take a look. I have, uh, I just have one bow. In my bag. Oh, okay. I have more ribbon. Here, why don't you grab one of these? Ooh, okay. I didn't want to do it, and you not know it. Okay. I'll. I always check the kids before. I know. I don't know. Okay. Well, I mean, so we have that set up. To prep it. Oh, oh, okay. So we don't have to. Okay. Yeah, I just made a loop. Oh, I just kind of did a little bunny ear. Loose, loose, loose. Show me. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. Let's see it out. Out. So oh. right, it's really kind of loose to start, right? Oh, just so just kind of make the bunny ears. Right? Loosely, and then you can straighten yeah. it out and make it. Ah, nice. Gosh, girl. Thank you. And then I can just kind of pull it yeah. to adjust it. Help. Okay. 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 Thank you. All right. So we prepped the tail, right? We prepped our little bows. Uh, no, it's okay. I'm just showing you guys what you would need to prep before you hot glue. Okay. Your eyes, you may have stuck them on there already. So this part is the part you really want to look at to attach the head to the body. Okay. Uh, so if you want to glue some things on first, like you want to finish gluing the stuff on the head before you attach the body and the head, that's okay. You don't have to do this like right away, but just want to show you guys so you know how to do it. Okay. So for this, oh my God, my husband actually originally had this like super elaborate setup where he used all kinds of butterfly screws and things and I just simplified it. So wouldn't be so complicated. So yeah. This part right here on this little wire, and this is an aluminum wire, so it's very easy to bend, okay? And I'm just going to have you guys bend one side just a little bit, just to make it like a little loop, okay? Like this. Can you guys see that? Just a little loop, like maybe about a half an inch or so, okay? And then this loop is going to go through the body. Okay, and then I give you guys a little piece of rubber, like a rubber stopper, okay? Although I imagine you can probably use it even like a piece of felt or something. It's just so it doesn't create a lot of that friction right there in between. Yeah, look for it. It's somewhere on your table. <laughs> if you didn't get one, I have some more up here, okay? So that's like a little rubber stopper right there. I'm going to put it all the way through, 
And then the head, I'm going to attach this going through there. So we have a little rubber stopper in the middle. Okay. The loop is not to go through the hole. I mean, he's got to hold it. Yeah, the, the okay. loop you want to keep on one end here. Okay. okay. So I'm just putting that, the pointy part, right? Through, putting the little rubber stopper in between. Okay. And then I'm going to put the loop so it pretty much goes, you know, most of the way through. And then this top one, I'm just going to bring it back to the other side, nice and like, nice and tight, like nice and snug up against the, the pot. Okay. So you can kind of just hold it with one hand and then kind of bring it around. Okay. So we just kind of want that wire to just be like tight all the way through. Okay. And then what I want what I want to do right here with you is just make another loop, bringing it in on the end. This one's a little bigger just because the wire is a little bigger, but that's fine. And then right here, I'm just going to twist tidy. So now that I have these two loops right here, see? Okay. I'm just going to use that, making sure it's nice and firm. And I'm just going to twist it and twist it a couple times and just kind of press it flat, okay? Just kind of a simple way to get those attached. Okay, if you want it, if you know, if you were at home and you wanted to do that, you know, maybe you could use just the hot glue if you don't have the holes. Um, but um, it's kind of a simple way to put it together without having to use giant screws and blood butterfly clips and all the kinds of stuff that my husband wanted to use. <laughs> Okay, so there's that, um, and then uh, right now it's a little off balance, right, just because the the head is kind of heavy. So what you really want to consider before you glue the feet on, okay, is getting it lined up so that the base of this is balanced on here, okay? So I don't want to put the pot right on the very edges of this, the feet. I kind of want to make sure these two feet are touching, okay? And the front and the back foot is touching. So basically just make sure they're touching all, uh, all four of them are touching each other, okay? And then when you put it on there, just make sure you kind of make the front of the feet like, uh, sticking out a little bit up on the top just to make sure there's enough to support that front section okay so it's going to be something like that and then the feet actually stuck on pretty well i think if i wasn't driving so crazy over here um and running out of gas <laughs> my feet would have uh, made it in the car ride on mine so uh it's been it's been fine when it's left alone okay so just make sure there's a little bit of space up here it should almost feel like it stays balanced, but um, it's still going to be all just on the body, right? The four small ones. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So just make sure, again, these four need to be touching, right? And just don't put it too far up. Make it as far back as you can go. Oh, as far back. Yeah. Like, it could be right in the center or a little bit further back. Okay. That's going to help balance them. Okay. I got it. Thank you. Who needs scissors? Okay, yeah, I'll come around and help you guys. Okay. All right. And then the tail, you know, you can stick on right in the middle. And then we can stick the bows on. Okay. Okay. For the bell, the bell is pretty easy. You just want to make sure it kind of hangs where you want it to hang. So I kind of like to place it right in between the the head and the body. So kind of like right in there. And so we just want to make sure we tie the string. And we're just going to poke the string through, again, that little hole. And just make another knot, making sure it lines up where we want it to go. Okay, so it hangs kind of where we want it. So I'm going to put the knot right there. 
And I'm even going to tie them both together, the knots, just because it's going to make it faster. All right, and you can always adjust it, you know, if you happen to make the bell too low or something. You can always adjust it. All right, so that's where my bell is. I don't know, maybe I'll make it a little lower, but that's the idea. Okay. All right, so pretty much just kind of rotate using the different hot glue guns. Uh, sorry, they're all kind of crammed up there. Maybe we can plug one into another outlet. Okay. Oh, we can plug one over here just to make it more space. Oh, really? I have more glue. That's okay. Okay, I'll plug one over here by the like soldering station. Can you turn just a The bows, can you help me? The bows, yes. All right, those brushes, it's okay just put them in some water while they're just going to dry out and get hardened. Okay. Anybody else need some help with their bows? Mm -hmm. I need help with the mouth, bowing, okay. ears. <laughs> you just go ahead and thank you for somebody else. I was trying to figure this out. If I had something to play around, like shoes for ring. Really, that one, that one's flooding, you know. I'll see the buttons down in there. So, okay. Uh, okay. The foundry full of sticks. Yeah, I'm not really. I don't do it for you. I'm not regular glue sticks. Okay. I brought the fat ones. Okay, well, I put a little bit more of this glue in here on that one. Then there. Did you have another launcher somewhere? Yeah, I do have some more up here. Do you need one? Yes, I need one also. Oh. Okay. Thank you. Okay, let me go ask and see if Michelle has any more talk for me. I'm going to have to mine at home. Oh, okay. Because I can stabilize it better. There you go. That's a smart idea. Okay. Yeah. That one right there, but it won't work. Is Oh, no, that's one. I couldn't get it working yet. Yeah. Okay. I'm not going to put it I'm not going to put it I'm not going that's more awesome. yeah, back. Okay, so this one in the back here is working. And I'm going to leave these here. And I'm going to bring mine to the back to hot glue as well. Okay. 
I'm sure you guys got it. Ears. All right. Oh. A more black belt? Yeah, we have them in extra bags. I just need it. I just need a piece of it. Do they need to be stuck together before you glue them? Yeah. What do you mean? The, the, the head ears. to the body? Yeah. Oh, the head to the body? Yeah. Oh, I think it would be better so you can kind of get a sense of how it's balanced instead of just teeth? waiting, because then you might glue it and it might be a little bit off balance. But anyway, I'm just waiting for me at this. Is it standing up on the Oh, yeah. I think I can. Oh, the ears go on. Yeah, but that makes you glue them the right way. Oh, well, I'm Oh, 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 it's a big. Okay. So then this is just an idea. These are good right here, okay? <laughs> I'm just getting the end here. Well, that's got a dirty one on the bottom. Oh, does it? Yeah, I think so. Okay. Yeah, just a little. Yeah, yeah it flares up every now and then. Right now, it's just going to have to be. I think Diane's the detail. We can use it next time. Great. This would be ideal for your bell. So I can leave the bell in the way. Yeah. Okay, well, you can stick it on over there. You don't have to do that here. Right here, you can just stick on the little bow. Does that go along with the ear? And then the tail. Oh, I'll do the tail on first. And then also a little water right there. Come back to the water in It's 
Please. <laughs> Please. Let's find me in the way. Finished gluing mine at home also with a better hot glue because well, look at you. that was actually. Uh, I think that's the cutest. Yeah. Okay. I need some help. Yes. Did you have time? Yes. Uh, I'm going to have to take a look. Oh, but do you need help attaching the, the head? Do you need the head? I need it. Okay. No, I need the. Uh, oh, this is wet. Oh, this is wet. Oh, Hi, Tanya. Hey. Hi, Tanya. Let me see your cow. Oh, okay. Well, the eyes are just the um, the little uh, dots of the by googly eyes. If you wanted to use that. Well, I, I'm not ready. <laughs> I'm not ready. <laughs> I'm not ready. I'm not ready. Why are you not ready? Because I'm still excited. I've never been on it. No, but look how good. And you come over here all the time. Sometimes. I come to the frog. I come to all the paint uh, palette, if I can get in, with Robin. Uh -huh. Yeah, I come over quite often. Okay. Do you want to paint the eyes or you want to use the little guys? Uh, I'm 
Okay, you're these are the eyes. Yeah, these are the eyes. And you have eyelashes on them and everything. I don't know. Okay. And we can't do the same. Oh, yeah. Do you think you should do it out of the blue? Blue is almost there. And I'm trying to do it very well. The restrooms are actually down the hallway past the office. So it's a little walk over there. Probably like the second second hallway. All right. And then nostrils. Okay. What else? Yeah, I color them in, but let's oh, just get a couple other things okay. to get ready. So I just helped her unravel her tail a little bit just to make it kind of fuzzy. Oh, okay. Yeah, if you guys want to, um, you know, obviously you guys are already cleaning up, but if you want to bring up any of the supplies to that table, that would be great. And then, of course, you know, toss the palettes and maybe rinse out the brushes. <laughs> okay, so we need to get this. Uh, oh, where's your other bell? You wanted the other one right here. So we're just going to tie this. As, well, we're going to tie that as soon as we attach the head and the body. So I'm just going to tie it. Get one side ready. I guess my ears are Yeah, the ears begin to toggle and there. Mine is going to hold the balloon. Okay. So let's get this stabilized. I think it's hard. Yeah. That's fine. You can just do the face. I don't know. 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 I don't know.